All right, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to find the angle between two planes, okay? Now, this is actually something that, you know, the, you, great, you have a nice easy formula for it, and uh, this makes sense because we've done work with this, you know, cosine theta equals uh, the dot product of two vectors over the magnitude of both those vectors multiplied together. Uh, so, you know, it's a nice easy formula, but when I really thought about it, it started to not make as much sense to me. So I wanna kind of prevent that for you. Let's say that we have two planes, okay? One's going like this, and let's say it's going in and out of the board, okay? And we have another plane, and it goes like this, all right? And it's also going in and out of the board. Well, we have two vectors that are gonna be normal to that, okay? We have our vector, this is gonna be the first normal vector, and we're gonna have the second normal vector right here. Okay, now what you'll notice is that if we're finding, I mean, really right here, we're finding the angle between these two vectors, okay? That's N1 and N2, so we're actually finding this angle. We're not finding this angle down here. And these two things are equal. I, I hope you can tell from the drawing, but this angle right here, okay, that is obtuse. Okay, that's definitely greater than 90 degrees, and this angle right here is definitely acute. All right, so that's what didn't really make too much sense to me. Okay, but what I realized is that, well, there's two different angles between planes, okay? There's, yes, this angle, but then look at the angle right next to it. This angle between planes, that's acute. And, well, if you think about it, the normal vectors are at right angles. Okay, they're at right angles to the plane. That makes sense, we know that, okay? And right, what we formed right here, that's a quadrilateral. Okay, that's a quadrilateral. And what we know about quadrilaterals is that all of the angles add up to be 360 degrees. So if these two are right angles, that means that all that's left to share is 180 degrees between this thing and this thing, okay? And that means that they're supplementary. But what is this angle supplementary with? Well, it's this angle over here. So this angle right here is equal to this angle right here, which is the angle between these two planes, okay? Because these two things are supplementary and you kind of think of it as this and this are supplementary as well. Okay, so that's how it started to make sense for me, how this formula is actually working. And I wanted to kind of show you that. I hope that didn't confuse you at all. Um, really, this is just drawing two planes here in black, and then I drew normal vectors, and then I showed you that, well, this angle right here is equal to this angle right here. Because both this angle and this angle are supplementary to the, the first angle in question. Okay, so you are finding an angle between two planes. It's not the same angle as you might think though. Okay, you know, so, so it's still the correct answer. Okay, there's multiple angles between planes. Okay, uh, it's just asking for the angle between two planes. If you know one of the angles, well, then you're gonna find the other because it's just supplementary to that one. Okay, but usually it's just asking for one angle. All right, uh, it just generally doesn't word it specifically like that okay it'll just find say find the angle between two planes and you'll have to find this you just have to use this formula okay uh not we you know recognizing all of this garbage okay so i just kind of wanted to make that clear to you uh if that was something that you kind of ran into as uh you know just trying to understand this formula so now that we've dealt with that and we kind of understand that we are actually finding the angle between two planes with this formula Let's find the angle between the two planes, x plus y plus z equals seven, and x plus eight y plus eight z equals seven. Now, we're using normal vectors for this. And we know that the first normal vector, okay, let's say n1, it's gonna be the normal vector of this plane right here. Now the normal vector is determined by just the coefficients on x, y, and z, okay? The normal vector on x, or the, sorry, the coefficient on x is one, coefficient on y is one, coefficient on z is one. That's your first normal vector. What about your second normal vector, n2? Well, the normal vector will now be the coefficient on x is 1, the coefficient on 8y is 8, the coefficient on 8z is 8. There are your two normal vectors. 
and all that's left to do is plug them into this formula. And of course, you're gonna have to find the magnitude and the dot product. So we get that cosine theta is equal to n1 dot n2. So we have 111 dot 188. And we're gonna put that over. We're gonna, sh I'll just plug in our distance formula for the magnitude. We have the sum of the squares on the inside. Okay, so we have one squared plus one squared plus one squared. And we're gonna multiply that times the square root of sum of the squares, one squared plus eight squared plus eight squared. That right there is equal to, if we do our dot product, we have a one times one is one, plus we have a one times eight is eight, and then we have another eight. So that's gonna be over, we have rad three right here. That's gonna be multiplied by uh, 64 plus 64 is 128 plus one is 129. So we have a rad 129 right here. Okay, and now we can just say that this is one plus eight is nine plus eight is 17. So we have a 17 over, we can multiply these two things together. Uh, let's see if I can do this on my head here and not look at my paper. This is a 130 times three, which is 390 minus three is 387, right? Is that it? Yeah, 387, all right. So this is equal to cosine theta. So if we take the inverse cosine of this and this, what we get is that theta equals the inverse cosine of 17 over rad 387. And there you go. That's your angle. Okay, that's it. So that's going to, that's basically it. Okay, that's just using this formula. You don't really need to think about it as hard as I did over there. I just kind of wanted to introduce you into how it's finding the angle between two planes. Okay, because, you know, this formula by itself is finding the angle between two vectors, but that also happens to be the same angle that is between two planes, okay, or that is between the planes that these normal vectors are normal to, okay? So uh, that's going to do it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for vectors and the geometry of space in the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon.